Hi guys, it's Miss M back with another video. As you watched yesterday, we reviewed our metric unit conversions. What our golden ticket rule conversions are, how to convert some of our problems, and we even started kind of tiptoeing into adding and subtracting um, different unit measures all together. And today, what we're gonna really be focusing on is really hitting those adding and subtracting problems. We're gonna talk about a different couple kinds of word problems, and we're also gonna compare some metric unit problems. So if you didn't write down your golden ticket rules yesterday, pause this video, write them down, and then you can continue on. So let's get started with our first problem. Our first problem, we are comparing using our greater than, less than, and equal to sign. So on here, I have written down 2km, 13m. This line is going to tell us whether or not we're going to put what symbol to put into it. And we have 2,000 103 meters. Now there's two different ways that we can go about solving this problem. We could either turn this 2km, 13m into all meters, or we could turn this 2,003 meters back into its smaller units. And I'm gonna show you how to do both. So if memory serves me right, our golden ticket rule for kilometers to meters is that 1km is worth 1,000m. So this Problem, I'm gonna turn it to meet all meters. So 2km is really 2,000, and I have 13 meters. And I'm gonna, and I can compare it to 2,103 meters. Or, I'm gonna put a big or there. I can keep this 2km with 13m and compare it and I can change this 2,003 meters back into its smaller units. So 2,000 meters is really 2 km with 103 meters left over. Okay, I could solve it either which way, and now I could see, well, 2 km and 13 m is less than 2 km 103 m. 2,013 m is less than 2,103 m, so 2km, 13m is less than 2,103m, okay? So there's two different ways that we can go about solving, comparing problems when you have problems looking like this. You could either make it all into one unit, all meters, or you could break it up into its smaller units. All right, let's get started with some actual problems. So I have 701km, minus 523 km, 445 m. Now, one kilometer is worth a thousand meters, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna convert it to meters, and I'm gonna get 700,001 meters minus, I'm gonna take this 523 km, 445 m, and convert it all into meters, 523,445 m. Now I can go ahead and solve. <laughs> can't take zero away from five, go next door, can't take anything, keep going until you can take and borrow something. This one now becomes a zero, I'm gonna give back and this is gonna become a 10, which will become a nine, which will really become an eight, because this zero right here will become a nine, because it had to give back to make this one a 10. So 10 minus five is five, nine minus four is five, eight minus four is four. Can't take zero away from three, go next door, see if I can borrow. I can't borrow anything, so the seven becomes a six. This becomes a nine, here's my other 10. I had to give one way. 10 minus three is seven. Nine minus two is seven. Six minus one, five is one. So I get a total of 177,455 meters, which is correct. Now, if you get a problem that says break it into its smaller units, that means that we are taking this 177,455 meters and giving it back and making it into its kilo, um, kilometers and its meters. So I know that one meter, one km is worth 1,000 meters. So 177,000 is really 177 km 
and 455 M. Okay, this is acceptable and so is this. Just pay attention to which way the question is asking you. If it's asking you to just solve, you're gonna get an answer like this, but if it's asking you to break it into its smaller units, this is what they're talking about. All right, let's keep going. So now I have 27 kg, 547 g, plus 694 g. This is easy because we're just adding. One kg is worth 1,000 g, so I'm gonna take my number here and I'm gonna convert it and get 27,547 grams, seven g's, and I'm gonna add 694 g's to it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add, seven plus four is 11, carry the one. <coughs> one plus nine is 10, leftover is 14. Carry the one. One plus five is six. Six plus six is 12. Carry that one again. Seven plus one is eight. And I get, breaking down the two. So I get 28,241 grams. Now I can, can take that and I can convert it into its smaller units, making 28 kg and 241 g. Either way is acceptable, just pay attention, like I said before. If it's asking for smaller units, this is what it's talking about. If it just says solve, this is what it's asking for. All right, let's do some word problems. All right, I'm gonna read you a word problem. At a football practice, the water jug was filled with 18 liters, 530 milliliters of water. At the end of the practice, there were 795 milliliters left. How much did the team drink? So at the beginning of the practice, the water jug was filled with 18 liters, 530 milliliters. At the end of the practice, only 795 milliliters was left over. Our job is to figure out how much, how much was the team drank altogether. So I know that one liter I can write it up here. One liter is worth a thousand milliliters. I'm gonna use that to my advantage, my golden ticket rule. So I'm gonna take this 18 liters, 530 milliliters and convert it all into milliliters, which is gonna give me 18,530 ml. And I'm gonna subtract the 795 because this is how much that was left at the end of the practice. We're trying to figure out all together how much did the team drink, so we're gonna subtract, and we're gonna get our total number. So go ahead, you need to borrow, you gotta regroup, do whatever it is that you need to do. I'm gonna move kind of quick through this problem. <coughs> 13, do, 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 do. seven. All right, so I get a total of 17,735 milliliters of water the team drank. I'm just gonna write that right down. Now, if I wanted to break this down into its smaller units, which I'm going to do, I'm gonna get 17 liters and 735 milliliters. It didn't specifically ask for it, but I just wanted you guys to see how you're able to um, break it down into its smaller unit. All right, so the team altogether drank 17,735 milliliters of the water. Thirsty, thirsty football players. All right, we have one more problem. So, 27,545 milliliters of car's gas was used. So I'm gonna write this down, okay? So 27,545 milliliters of gas was used, okay? Then 19 liters, 878 milliliters more was used. So I'm gonna put also used was 19 liters, 878 milliliters. So this is in addition, this 19 liters, 878 milliliters is in addition to the gas that was already used as 27,545. It says that the gas tank can hold 56 liters 
and 202 milliliters of gas. Our job is to figure out how much gas was remaining in the tank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these two. I'm gonna convert and add because it says that at the beginning, 27,545 milliliters was used. The car kept going and 19 liters, 500, um, 878 milliliters in addition was used as well. So we gotta figure out how much in total was the gas used. Then we gotta figure out and subtract that total from 56 liters, 202 milliliters. That way we can figure out exactly how much gas is left in the tank. So I'm gonna go ahead and I need to convert this 19 liters and 878 milliliters because I'm gonna add it to this 27,545 milliliters. Well, one liter is worth 1,000 milliliters, so 19 liters is really 19,000, and then I have this additional 878 milliliters left over, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add. This is gonna be 13, <laughs> one plus four, four, no. one plus four is five, plus seven is going to give me 12, carry that one, <laughs> one plus, Five is six plus eight is going to give me 14. I'm gonna carry that one. One plus seven is eight. Eight plus nine is 17. Carry the one. One plus two is three plus an additional one is four. So I get 47,423 milliliters. That's just how much of all the gas was used in the, on this trip. But we're not done because we still gotta figure out how much is remaining in the tank. So I'm gonna take this 47,423 milliliters and I'm gonna subtract it once I convert this 56 liters, 202 milliliters, which becomes 56,202 ml. And I'm gonna subtract it. I'm gonna subtract this 47,423 from it. And that's gonna tell me exactly how much gas is left over in my tank. That becomes a one, that becomes a nine, 12, <coughs> that becomes a nine, seven. And as you see, I'm kind of moving quickly through it because I want you guys to be able to see the end number. <laughs> so that becomes an eight. So all together, that's remaining in the gas tank is 8,779 milliliters. Now I can take that and break it down into its smaller unit into eight liters and 779 milliliters. All right guys, this was just a quick recap on how to add, subtract different metric units and compare some different metric units as well. Until the next video, bye guys.